Good day guys, how you doing? The name is Kimali. Welcome to Music and Royalties Explained. And today we're going to look at what's the difference between the free Spotify account and the premium account. And also we will be looking at how much an artist receives for their streams. Oh my god! Wow! So stick to the video, comment, like, and make sure you subscribe to this channel. So guys, before we begin, there are two types of Spotify account, or you could say two subscription plans, the free and the premium. So Spotify offers two tiers, a free ad support plan what? and a $9.99 per month premium plan. But what are the difference between the two and is it worth upgrading? Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Let's talk about a free account. If you don't mind inserting ads between chats, the free plan is your ideal choice. However, this type of subscription is also limited to play music on shuffle mode only. The premium. When you upgrade to a premium, you can enjoy the better service of Spotify offline music playback to offline audio playback and real-time music access across all your songs some of them even offer live broadcasts of featured radio stations across the globe this article compares two spotify subscription plan in terms of price features and streaming quality and show you a detailed guide on how to enjoy spotify songs without limitation Use the new Keysoft Spotify Converter. Pros and Cons So we're gonna look at price. Spotify free means users are free to listen to songs, playlists or albums. The Spotify premium service costs $9.99 per month. Students will receive a 50% discount on the offer and a subscription price of $4.99. Later, Spotify added a family plan to share up to six people to share an account for $14.99 a month. Now we're gonna look at the ads. You can access and listen to millions of songs in the Spotify directory. But if you choose the Spotify free program, you will be interrupted by annoying ads. Oh no, God! No, God, please, no! 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 After each of the two tracks, one or two short ads will be played, which will interrupt your traffic and disrupt your listening experience. Spotify Premium allows you to enjoy music by deleting any ads in your tracks. No matter which device you use. Therefore, Spotify Premium users can take advantage of the screen for meaningless music listening. The Music Library Spotify says it offers users unlimited access to more than 35 million songs and is the same for all Spotify users, whether it's premium or free. What? The only difference is that premium users can enjoy the latest songs and albums and have the ability to download songs for offline playback, but free members must wait at least two weeks after the new artist album comes out. Now, limit skips versus unlimited skips. Everyone has their own unique musical taste. Sometimes you may hear songs that you don't like and you just want to skip them. With Spotify free, you can only skip six songs per hour, but with Spotify premium, you can unlimited skip any song you don't like. Now the streaming quality. 
different users plan that you are using and its streaming quality is different. Typically, Spotify uses three different sound quality settings for audio streaming. It offers 96 kilobytes per second as a standard bitrate for mobile devices. And for mobile devices, the standard and high quality of desktop and web interface can reach 160 kilobytes per second. If you choose the advanced subscription plan, you will get the high quality of the desktop 320 kilobytes per second and the extreme quality of mobile users. As you can see, premium users will automatically get a better listening experience with higher sound quality. Now, what is the pay rate for Spotify streams? So first you should know Every time someone listens to a song on Spotify, it generates royalties. Since January 2019, Spotify reports that they pay out between 0.00331 and 0.00437 per stream to all right holders. However, the rates actually paid to publishers and writers depends on multiple factors, such as whether the royalty is divided among multiple writers or publishers or what country the stream occur in and fluctuate over time. Are you serious? So you see, with that, if a person is in the United States, they may get a different pay range from a person who is in Trinidad and Tobago, which is a Caribbean island, or Jamaica, which is a Caribbean island. A person who's in the States or Canada, the UK and Germany, they will get more than the person who's actually in the Caribbean. So let's continue. Traditionally, one type of use would generate one type of composition royalty. For example, a radio play would generate only a performance royalty but streams generate both a mechanical royalty and a performance royalty. In 2019, it was reported that it takes about 500,000 ad support streams to generate $100 in mechanical royalties. And 180,000 premium streams to generate monthly premium wage in the United States. Spotify pays out 70% of its revenue to the master and the publisher owners. So, as their user base grows, their rates may grow. So typically, there's no way of saying a person is going to get this amount for a thousand streams because it all depends on where a person is getting their streams from. I may be from the Caribbean, however, all my streams that I'm generating are coming from the United States or Germany, so you know I'm going to be getting a whole bunch of money. And I really want to thank you guys for sticking around and paying attention to everything that I've said. I will be uploading videos soon on my progress and how much I've actually gained from my royalties throughout the year from Spotify. So far I've gained thousands of dollars and I would really love to share that experience with you. So I hope you guys will subscribe to the channel and follow the growth and I will definitely keep up with all the information that you guys desire. Feel free to leave all questions in the comment section below and I'll always be here for you guys. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video.